Okay, guys, um, I'm going to talk about dead people real quick, like, and as you guys know, I don't generally talk about recently dead people, but we've had a couple of subscribers that have, have lost people recently, and then some other subscribers that are dealing with someone that's died over the last few years that they're having trouble working through, so I just wanted to go through a couple of things. Right after a person dies, that is the best, best, best time to for a person that's lost somebody to communicate with them. Now, what happens usually is the person dies, and then the traditionally third-dimensional human will immediately feel bad and go into this to this mourning stage. Now, this mourning stage is all about you. It's all about... I don't have them anymore. This is sad for me because I don't have that person anymore. It's it's very you based, okay? But it does overwhelm anything else. It kind of cuts off anything else that you might be able to do. So, for you guys that may be losing somebody in the near future and there's, you know, if you're going to 5D, you're going to have a lot of people that die. Because they're going to come out of this game. They're not going to be able to sustain that vibration as you raise to go to 5D. So they got to leave. So in your life, it's going to look like they're dead. So on this timeline, they're going to have to leave. So they'll die in some way. It's to be expected. But if you have somebody close to you and they are and they died, this is what I want you to know. Is if you can stay out of the mourning phase, if you can remember my words, that the the skin suit that they have left will go back to Gaia, uh, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. It'll go back to Gaia. The consciousness is what you really know. You probably would have never met or interacted with the consciousness that was running that that was the skin suit. Okay, you probably did not. The consciousness that you are going to miss is not the skin suit at all. It is the being, the part of the consciousness that was running the show, that was driving the skin suit. That's the one that you're going to miss. Well, that part of the consciousness didn't go anywhere. They're still right there. They just aren't using the skin suit anymore. So what will happen is very, very soon after they die the the sooner the better and it depends upon how fast that entity leaves or if they're wanting to stay close by but you can absolutely do it right after they die that they will be right there and they will be they will remember what it was like to be in a human body still okay if you do it real quick now the the longer it's been the more they forget what time was and the illusion of it and what pain was, and it didn't take me long at all to forget all of that stuff or not remember that it was such a big deal. But right after they die, they will. They will remember. So they'll remember how to communicate with you better. They will be able to get to be louder in your in your head, so to speak, I guess. So if you, if you can stay out of that they're gone and immediately go into a meditative state, say, hey, are you there? then you can feel them, and they will feel very much like the well person, not the dead person, not the dying person, not the older person, not the debilitated person. That's not what you will hear. You will hear what will be kind of um, them in their at 30 years old, and they feel very much like they are happy and they're at the best party ever. Best party ever. So their vibration will be extremely high, extremely healthy, and extremely the best version of them that you ever knew. If you've got a picture in your mind of that person being extremely happy and extremely healthy and a fun time that you've had together, if you'll put that in your mind, then you will get close to that, that consciousness, that part of that consciousness that you love so much. Now, that's step one. Now, you can start interacting with that person, but eventually, over what you think of as time, they're going to forget how to talk to you in human form. So, you got to keep up with them. If you want to continue to be able to hear them 
or feel them or know what they're saying, then you've got to keep up with them. So I was talking to somebody who has lost someone, and I said it's like the consciousness that, that you know is an ice cube, okay? See, it's very rigid, follows certain rules, you know exactly what the sides are, and it doesn't move very fast, it's just very slow. That's, that's the consciousness in the human body. And when they die, it's still the water. The water that was in that ice cube is still the water that... It, still the water. It's just now the ice cube is melted. And now the same water that was in that ice cube is now free. It's not rigid. And it can expand. It can evaporate. It can flow hither and thither. It can... It will start moving very fast. Much faster. But it's out of the rigid state of being an ice cube. If you understand that, then you can start with that entity as you know them, and you can follow them into what they become. And they will show you what what they are now. If you keep up with them, it will help you become that as well. So that you don't have to be an ice cube in a human body. You can become more like the the pool of water. The melted ice cube. Okay, does that make sense? All right, well, if it doesn't, ask me questions below and I shall answer them. Uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thumbs up on this video if you would, please. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.